A proper handcuff in a search could save a life. Today I'm going to brief you guys on the reasons for handcuffing, safety concerns for the suspect and the officer, and the type of searches that security forces does, and the reasons why we'll do those searches. So why is handcuffing and searching so important? Handcuffing and searching is so important because it will be the time when an officer is in close proximity of the suspect. And so if the suspect would like to harm the officer, that's when he or she will get his chance. So handcuffs are a less than lethal tool used by officers. And the only thing that's saying is once the officer put handcuffs on you, they're not going to kill you. Um, or the handcuffs won't kill you. There are many different reasons why an officer would put handcuffs on the suspect. It's mainly to put the suspect at a disadvantage. So a few safety concerns when you're putting handcuffs on. You never want to handcuff by yourself. And so you always want a two to one ratio. And once you handcuff, you're going to have an overwatch. And your overwatch will stand to the front. You will stand to the rear. You'll turn the, you'll tell the suspect turn around from the sound of your voice. You'll have them bend slightly at the waist. Palms out, thumbs up. And once you get close to the suspect, you'll hold the suspect's thumbs. Uh, tightly so they, they won't go anywhere place the handcuffs on the wrist you'll put one finger in between the handcuff and the wrist to make ensure it's not tight and ensure it's not too tight you'll double lock you'll double lock the handcuffs okay so now now that you have the suspect handcuffs it depends on the circumstance will depend on what type of search you'll do a very important thing to remember is once you have the suspect handcuffed, they're now in your custody. So anything happens to the suspect, you can get in trouble for it. So if they fall down, get hurt, get scratched, run into something, it can fall on the officer. So there's two different types of searches. There's a standing search and there's a prone search. So the reasons for doing a standing search is if the suspect is smaller than you or... If um, if you're if you outnumber the suspects, is is or if you feel confident or if you're comfortable in doing the standing search. Now the prone search will be done if the suspect is overweight, if they're very old, if they're injured, if they're intoxicated or in some type of drug, and you feel like they may fall. That's when you'll do the prone search. So how to do the standing search? So the standing search is, is pretty simple. They're, they're both pretty basic, but for the standing search, what you'll do is once you have them handcuffed with, with either hand, you'll hold the linking chain and you'll start from top to bottom. And the only thing you have to do is keep everything systematic, which means you want to check everything from top to bottom on the suspect. You're going to unbutton every button. You're going to go inside every pocket. You're going to take off the belt. You're going to go inside the shoe. Just make sure whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side. So when you're doing the left side, you'll have the suspect turn to the right. And then when you do the right side, you'll have the suspect turn to the left. And you must ensure that you keep the keep hold of the Lincoln chain. So if they try to run or anything like that. Now when you do a prone search, it's kind of the it's kind of the same way, except putting them to the ground and pick them up. You have to ensure you do that correctly. And when you're putting them down to the ground, you and your overwatch will go on each side of them. To, of your suspect, you'll hold the arms and you'll let them know, hey, I need you to drop to one knee. So gently drop them to one knee. They'll drop to the other knee. And then you'll give them a verbal command to lay flat on their stomach. Now, you have to ensure that they don't fall and get hurt because, once again, it will they will come on. It, you'll get in trouble. And what you want to do is you'll get on the side. You'll get on the side of the suspect. And you'll when you do the left side, use your... Right hand, you do the right side, use the left hand. It's the same thing. Everything just has to be systematic, starting from top to bottom. So now that you know how to do the searches, handcuffs, and handcuffing, and you know how to do them, hopefully if you ever come in a situation where you need to handcuff someone, you can apply them as needed. Right, thank you.